हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सेलरेशन पॉजिटिव एक्सेलरेशन नेगेटिव एक्सेलरेशन एंड रिटार्डेशन ओके द फर्स्ट वन इज व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन टाइम इट इज डिफाइंड एज अ टाइम रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी एक्सेलरेशन इज टाइम रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट whose initial velocity is v1 and this object suppose this is an object and it is moving with an initial velocity v1 after time t its velocity changes to v2 then what then the then we we know that acceleration is rate of change of velocity time rate of change of velocity suppose the initial time is t1 and final time is t2 and t is the time interval between t1 and t2 okay therefore acceleration is equal to v2 minus v1 that is final velocity minus initial velocity upon t2 minus t1 okay it is vector quantity that's why i put here arrow sign you can see any vector quantity is represented over a vector sign this is the symbol for vector representation of any vector any physical quantity which is vector okay so acceleration is v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square you know acceleration is what velocity by time change in velocity and velocity is meter per second and there is also time therefore time so meter per second you can write meter second square you can also write a is equal to meter second to the power minus 2 because in denominator the power is what plus 2 if it comes in numerator then the power become minus 2 so meter s to the power minus 2 si unit is meter per second square now the question for you is what is the cgs units of unit of acceleration what is the cgs unit of acceleration you have to answer this in comment okay direction of acceleration now very important term the direction of acceleration is neither along v1 neither along v2 but the direction of acceleration is along v2 vector minus v1 vector it is vector quantity okay so final velocity minus initial velocity the difference between these two velocity gives the direction of the direction of the these two velocity gives the direction of acceleration acceleration is the direction of acceleration is neither along v1 neither along v2 you can find the direction by vector subtraction of v2 minus v1 the vector subtraction you will learn in higher section okay how to vectorally subtract any two physically physical quantity i have mentioned some kind sign convention here when object is moving toward right it means we have to take acceleration we have to take velocity positive if it moves then we have to take velocity negative if it moves upward direction then we have to take velocity positive and if it moves downward direction then we have to take velocity negative okay this is the origin o now you see here i have taken four example of acceleration okay the first one is you can see first example is the object is having initial velocity that is v1 okay v1 is what 10 meter per second and in one second it changes to 15 meter per second where it is moving toward left or toward right it is moving toward right so we can say that the acceleration is the velocity direction is positive here also positive here also positive you can see here in this direction we have to take sign convention velocity is positive that's why we have to take v2 also positive v1 also positive what is the time duration the time duration is 1 second it the velocity changes in 1 second okay so what is acceleration acceleration is v2 minus v1 upon t time is 1 second that's why v2 is 15 and v1 is 10 so 15 minus 10 if you subtract and if you put 1 second here we will get meter per second into second so it will come meter second square and if second will come in numerator then s to the power minus 2 here you can see the acceleration is what acceleration is positive 
now if suppose any object or any body this is a body this is a car suppose it is moving along this direction okay now what happens you see the initial velocity is v1 the initial velocity is v1 and the final velocity is v2 in time t what is the initial velocity it is 10 meter per second 10 meter per second and what is the final velocity 15 meter per second so how to find acceleration v2 minus v1 upon t what is the direction of velocity v2 it is toward left that's why we have to take here negative sign and in between negative sign is there that's why i put here negative sign what is the direction of velocity the direction of velocity is toward left that's why we have to take negative by sign convention okay now if we solve we will get minus meter per second square here acceleration is negative here acceleration is negative similarly if an object having initial velocity 15 meter per second and final velocity 10 meter per second why we are calling it velocity because it is having particular direction it is moving toward right speed means only magnitude that is 15 only 10 it gives a value of speed but what do you mean by velocity speed that is body is moving along particular direction that's why we are we have to we can say that body is body is having velocity so initial velocity is v1 15 meter per second and final velocity is 10 meter per second how to find acceleration the formula of acceleration is v2 minus v1 so you can see both are moving toward right that's why we have to take sign convention positive for velocity both positive okay v1 and v2 positive now in between them there is a negative sign so if we have to put here negative sign negative sign we have to put okay now if we solve we will get negative acceleration now listen to my word what do you mean by retardation retardation ka matlab kya hota hai whenever there is decrease in speed listen to my word negative acceleration ko retardation nahi kahenge negative acceleration ko hum deceleration nahi kahenge retardation is nothing to worry about negative acceleration means it does not mean deceleration deceleration ka direct tum samaj do deceleration or retardation means whenever there is decrement in speed whenever there is decrement in magnitude value of velocity here you can see it is moving 15 meter per second and then after its speed changes to 10 so there is decrease in what there is decrease in magnitude there is decrease in magnitude this is deceleration this is retardation retardation ka matlab negative acceleration nahi hota hai theek hai acceleration may be positive acceleration may be negative retardation ka sign se koi lena dena nahi hai retardation is only decrease in speed listen to my word retardation is only decrease in speed and what do you mean by speed if a body is moves it is having some magnitude it is some here it is you can see 15 to 10 this 15 and this 10 is gives the value of speed samajh mein aaya ye bachcho ko pata nahi rehta hai bachche galti karte hai ki acceleration aur retardation kya hota hai so retardation means there is decrement in speed and acceleration means there is increment in speed acceleration may be positive acceleration may be negative but retardation means there is decrement in speed okay next example suppose this is a body which is having initial velocity v1 15 meter per second and final velocity 10 meter per second now this changes takes place in one second then how to find acceleration acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity both are moving toward left so you can see here negative sign we have to take we have to take negative sign okay negative sign here you can see that's why minus 15 minus 10 and in between them negative sign is there that's why i put here negative negative become positive 15 minus 10 is 5 meter per second square here also you can see that body speed is decreasing here also you can see body speed is decreasing so in this case acceleration is negative and in this case acceleration is positive 
देखो मतलब समझो यहां पर भी वेहकल की स्पीड कम हो रही है दैट इज 15 टू 10 और यहां पर भी कितनी हो रही है 15 टू 10 हियर एक्सेलरेशन इज नेगेटिव हियर एक्सेलरेशन इज पॉजिटिव सो एक्सेलरेशन नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव होने से रिटार्डेशन का कोई मतलब नहीं है रिटार्डेशन मींस देयर इज डिक्रीज इन स्पीड सो हियर आल्सो रिटार्डेशन ओके रिटार्डेशन मींस ओनली 5 हियर आल्सो रिटार्डेशन रिटार्डेशन इज ओनली 5 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर रिटार्डेशन और डिसेलरेशन इज 5 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर वन इंपॉर्टेंट नोट If the speed of the body decreases with time, if the speed of the body decreases with time, then we can say body is retarding or decelerating. If the speed of the body decreases with time, okay, you can write if write down if the speed increases, there is acceleration. If the speed increases during motion with respect to time. ओके यू डायरेक्टली राइट सिंपल इन सिंपल वर्ड इफ इन इन स्पीड इंक्रीजेस ड्यूरिंग मोशन देन राइट डाउन इफ स्पीड इंक्रीजेस ड्यूरिंग मोशन ओके देन वी वी कैन से दैट बॉडी इज एक्सलरेटिंग एंड इफ राइट डाउन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इफ स्पीड डिक्रीजेस देन वी कैन से बॉडी इज रिटार्डिंग If speed decreases during motion, then body is retarding. You copy all this thing. As I told you that acceleration is rate of change of velocity. So you know that velocity is nothing but speed along with direction. Means if you want to change the velocity. you can either change the speed or change the direction okay so if speed changes then there is there will be acceleration if velocity if direction changes then there will be a condition of acceleration if both changes then also is the condition of acceleration if speed changes then we can say that body is accelerating if direction changes then we can say that body is accelerating if both changes then also we can say that body is accelerating here i here you can see that there are some example first here you can see that speed is changing how speed is changing initially at point a this vehicle is having a speed of 30 km per hour after time t it reaches to point b and it attains a velocity of 40 km per hour so you can see that magnitude is increasing this term is called magnitude and it is increasing there is no change in direction hence we can say that only speed is changing always remember speed is nothing but speed is equal to mode of velocity means speed is equal to magnitude of velocity clear speed is nothing but magnitude of velocity velocity is what speed along with direction if you put direction to if you give direction to speed you will get the velocity okay now here you can see this is the background music okay okay here you can see this is a here you can see the direction is changed but the speed is constant suppose any body which is moving along a circular path with constant speed here you can see the speed is constant the speed is 30 at point b also the speed is 30 at point c the speed is 30 but you can find that the direction is changing you can see directly the direction is changing everywhere how to find the direction by drawing a tangent to radius suppose you find to suppose you want to find the direction at this point because this vehicle or any object after time t it cover it moves to every part of the circle or circular path okay so after time suppose any time t it also reaches to t point and how to find the direction at point t you have to draw a radius you have to join with a center and you have to draw, you have to draw a tangent that is 90 degree to this radius 90 degree to this radius you will find the direction at this point so this is the direction of velocity velocity is nothing but speed along with direction magnitude of velocity is equal to speed
clear next you can see here this is the path the path is like that and a vehicle is moving suppose in this way it is moving it has some less velocity compared to this because this is downside and this is upside upside it is having velocity 30 km per hour and the direction is toward this after time d it reaches to point this point b suppose this is point b and here you can see the speed is 60 km per hour so you can say that direction along with speed is changing hence this is the example of both speed and direction speed that is 30 to 60 and direction that is up to down both are changing hence we can say body is accelerating here also body is accelerating here also body is accelerating clear next topic is what do we mean by positive acceleration and what do we mean by negative acceleration okay here you can see the direction is constant body is moving around the straight part that's why only speed is changing now what is what do we mean by positive acceleration if the body gains the speed here you can see the speed is 30 km per hour after time t the speed become 40 km per hour means there is increment in speed the, the velocity is nothing velocity is only speed along with direction direction will never increase but speed will increase clear clear to everyone direction never increases but speed